I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmapinstitute.com. In this particular video, we are going to discuss surface area and volume of pentagonal pyramid. We'll also derive the formula for the same. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send your queries to the email address given here. Now let's talk about the question. It says, given a regular pentagonal pyramid with side length of 21.6 centimeter and apothem of 15 centimeter. So that is given to us as shown here. Find the surface area and volume of the pyramid if the height is 36 centimeters. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin with understanding the term apothem. Apothem actually is the distance from the center of the polygon to any of its side, the shortest distance. It is also defined as the distance from the center to the center of the segment of the polygon. So regular polygon all are of equal sides. So this particular segment will actually divide the side into two equal parts, correct? And it will also be perpendicular, correct? So that is apothem, which is also defined here as apothem is the distance from the center of the regular polygon to the midpoint of any side. It is also the radius of the inscribed circle. So sometimes when you have to find the radius of the inscribed circle, you use apothem. Now let's derive the formula for solving such questions and then move forward. Since we need to find surface area and volume, we should begin with the, the base, which is pentagonal, correct? So first part is to find area of the base. Now, area of the base, the base can be divided into five triangles, right? So these are your five triangles, one, two, three, four, and five. So that means this is equals to five times area of each triangle, correct? Now, area of the triangle, as you know, is half base into height. And that gives you the formula that area of the base is five times half of base B and the height being apothem A, right? So that is how we get the area of the base. Now, to find the surface area, we need to find area of the triangles which are part of our net, right? So in this net, area of the base and area of the five of those triangles. So what I mean is that the area of these triangles We know the slant height and we know the base. So that should give you the area of these triangles. So, so area of five of those triangles will be five times half of base times S, correct? So that becomes the area of those five triangles. So the total surface area can now be written as five times half of AB plus five times half of BS, correct? You can take five over two A comma and we get B plus S as the other factor. Well, you can also find S since S will be using the Pythagorean theorem. We can write here S equals to square root of a square plus h square, right? A square plus h square. So we're looking into this particular triangle where the height is h, right? So you can find the value of s. 
So that gives you a very good formula to work with and find the surface area. We know all the values. Let's now calculate the surface area. So as I was saying, the surface area A will be five times half of AB plus half of SB, slant height into the base, taking five over two B common. We could write this formula as five over two B into A plus S. Now we know that the value of A is 15 centimeters, B is 21.6 centimeters, and height H is 36 centimeters. Substituting the values, we could find the surface area. But let's first find what is S, right? So slant height S in this particular case will be A square plus H square square root. Writing the values, we calculate the slant height as 39 units. Now substituting the values of S, A, B, we can find the surface area. So surface area A is 5 over 2 times 21.6, which is the base. A is 15 plus 39, we just calculated as slant height. And using the calculator, you get the value 2916 centimeters square as the surface area for the pentagonal pyramid. Perfect. Now let's look into the volume part. So volume for any pyramid is what? So volume is, first thing is one third the volume of the prism, right? So volume is one third of area of the base times height. Now, in this case, we know that the area of the base is, we have five triangles, right, times half AB, right, and times H, which is the height in this particular case. Substituting the values given to us, we can easily find the solution. So, the volume is, we know A is 15 centimeter, B is 21.6, H is 36 centimeter. Substituting the values into the formula, which is, one third of area of the base into height, one third times area of the base is five times half AB and then multiplied by height, substituting the values. One over three times five times half times 15 times 21.6 times 36, multiplying them, we get the volume as 9720 centimeter cube. Perfect. So I hope that makes sense. So in this video, one, you learn the formulas for the surface area and the volume of the pyramid and how you could find slant height from the height and the apothem. I hope that really helps. Feel free to write a comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.